with a long knife like this, this bone cuts like butter. And I can keep the blade right against my level. There it is. Nice clean cut. Now I can lay out my tools. I know this is kind of nuts. I mean, we don't want to use the A word, so we'll just say, it's extremely fastidious. But just imagine how much easier it'll be once I have all of my turning tools organized and can vacuum the sawdust right out of the drawer. And it won't take that long to cut these out either. This is really easy stuff to work with. I got this pen that's a long nose marker from FastCap. And all I have to do is trace around each one of these tools and hold it still so it doesn't move. And the marker leaves a nice distinct line right around the outline of the tool. There it is. You can see I've traced the outlines for every single one of these. And now, all I have to do is cut them out. I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of time to spend organizing my shop. But this is definitely something you can do at night. It doesn't take a lot of brains. All you have to do is trace the outlines of your tools and then cut around them. And if you watch the videos on a FastCap website, you'll notice how they stress how you have to stay inside the lines when you use your utility knife to make these cuts. Well, I was never very good at staying inside the lines with coloring books. And I'm not very good at staying inside the lines with this either, but you know, this doesn't have to be perfect. Once you cut the line, the outline out, the foam peels off really easily and pretty cleanly. Once I get to this area where I know the tool is really deep, here's the tool I'm going to be putting in here. It's really deep right through the handle area in here. I'm just going to dig my finger in here deeper and pull out a couple extra layers because this doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want these tools rolling around every time I move my lathe bench or open up the drawer. Yeah, that's pretty close. I think I'll cut out a little bit more right around in here and then I'll have it. And if it doesn't sit in there just right, you want it to be a little deeper, just get your thumb in there. And take out a little more of the foam. That's it. I really don't want them to sit in there down flush. I want to be able to grab them easily. And that's going to be just perfect. Now here's the last one. This whole thing only took me about 15 minutes to do. Because I really don't care about how neat it is. But this one... is the tool that Jed Dixon turned for me and made at his shop. Paul Akers calls this stuff Kaizen Foam. And Paul actually introduced me to the whole concept and the idea of Kaizen. Kaizen means constant improvement. And that's actually why he calls it Kaizen Foam. Because once you have all of your tools organized, you're much more efficient. You don't go hunting around for something. Your tools aren't banging into each other and getting dull. You have to sharpen them more frequently. 
you know right where everything is at a glance now is that easy or what now all I got to do is finish turning some longer drawer poles.